All right, so I've scanned my uh, Inktober art for page 12 of my comic Ghost Towns, and I thought I'd show you how I put that together. It's not going to be super crazy, but here we go. So first I drag in my scan. I rotate it. So it's uh, going the right direction there. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer and adjust the adjust the darkness on it. Um, that feels pretty dark, but uh, I'm going to then pick up the red channel. Um, I do all my penciling in red. You can see the the red lines in there, and I want to strip those out. So I'm going to select the red channel, and uh, if I zoom back out for a second, you'll see it's pretty dark there. But when I switch to red, it lightens it up. So now I'm going to take that red channel and drag it over drag it over into my page template and then I can go ahead and close that out so now I've got this page template and it's the scan is bigger than the page so I will just shrink that down and try and line up these edges so they're roughly where they're supposed to go all right so i've got that now i've now i'm going to uh grab the my border lines and I've got those in a file called line semi bold and it's really pretty much exactly what it sounds like just a bunch of lines that are semi bold so I take those and line them up they're not perfectly straight, so um, I'm going to rotate that one slightly. All right, and then we'll grab another, grab that line, go down there. for the verticals and I will switch that to multiply so I can see better do one there and then it's a, it's a long line so it won't repeat itself really Alright, so I've got all the got all the panel borders in, but they kind of all lump up on each other. So this is where I zoom in real tight and I 
come up here and do the super exciting work of deleting bits of panel border. So I've got that, but I need to mask out the art. And so to, to do that, I'm going to select, um, use my magic wand to select all the white outside those borders. And I'm going to modify and expand that selection by three. You'll see that See, it was flush with those lines. Now it infringes a little bit. Then I'm going to invert that selection so it's selecting the inside the boxes. I'm going to grab that layer one art and hit the mask button. So now it goes from spilling outside the lines to being constrained. All right, so now I just need to do the lettering and I've already drawn that up as well. That is, I think, is it this? Nope, it's gonna be that and that. Okay, so on this file I've got some balloon tails and over here I've got various various word balloons for different different pages uh, I did the tails separately because I wanted to just get the lettering all done at once and I didn't know exactly where on the page these would fall, so I didn't want to put tails on them, then I figured I would just do it later. So that's what I'm doing. You'll, you'll notice that these are pretty light scans and you can see the, you can see the red in them as well, um, just like before. So I'm going to actually get the red layer, I'm gonna copy it, and paste it in 
So that takes out the, the red pencil. Now I'm going to use uh, levels again to get that nice and black. And um, try and take out as much of <coughs> as much of the artifacting as I can. Um, so there we go, it's a, they're pretty crisp now and there's some improvements I can make. Just So now what I'm going to do with this is set that to multiply and I'm going to do a magic wand selection again and actually okay now I'm going to do a magic wand selection and I'm going to again expand it by three pixels and invert it and so you can see that I'm filling the balloons. I'm not going to fill them with red actually, I'll fill them with white. I just did that so you can see that I was actually filling them. And these I have the set for, so the scan is 50% too large, so I'm going to shrink that down. And then I'm going to drag over that and oop, where did it go? Okay, here it is. And I'm going to drag over that as well. And So I'll get rid of that. And now I can move these balloons where I think they might be okay. <sighs> Lettering is not actually one of my strong points, I don't think. Um, but I do what I can. Hmm. That might actually work. I can always Where was it? That was there. I don't need tails for these two because the speaker is not actually in panel, but I will need a tail for this guy over here. So probably just a short one. I'll do that guy. And red channel again. And levels and levels and levels. All right, and t -t 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 
just so I can fill this. I'm gonna make a little fake outline there, and I'm gonna select inside and expand that selection. this man I don't know that might be too too small shot okay so now I just need to get rid of that stuff so that is on that layer I know this is totally exciting to listen to I'm super tired sorry about that my son is not really sleeping at night so We've been getting between two and four hours of sleep a night right now. All right, so that is, I think, that page. I actually, there's a, a little bit of splatter there that I don't like, so I'm going to cheat and use Photoshop's fancy healing brush to take care of those. Uh, oh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing a period there. So, even though it's Inktober here, I'm going to cheat. I mean, Technically, it's not cheating because I really did ink this. Oops. I'm going to copy that, paste it, and add it to here. And just, just so it looks less cheaty, <laughs> I'm going to rotate that little period that no one will ever, no one will ever notice. Okay, everything else look okay? Sure. Uh. These are too close together. So... We'll get them a little more space. space too. You get space. You get space. Everybody gets a space. Uh. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so that is page 12 of Ghost Towns. Thanks.